In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to write numbers. The reason why it's important to understand how to write numbers is for clarity. Sometimes it can be confusing if you write numbers out in letters or uh, alpha, if you will, um, than if you were to do things numeric. And you need to know the difference of when to write what. So here's an example. First of all, write the numbers 0 to 9 alpha, and then 10 and over should be written as numerals. Example 10, 11, 12, 20, 30. 100, etc. Okay, so let me just demonstrate that again. The reason why you want this is because it just makes it easier to read. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then it's 10, 11, 12, and so on. Okay? That's the general rule of thumb when writing numbers. Now, there are some exceptions to this, so please take note of these exceptions. Anytime you start a sentence with a number, let's say the number 30, you would write $30 is the cost of a dinner for two or 40 years ago the Beatles were still very popular okay however you would write it like this the Beatles were very popular 40 years ago. I would like to have two apples in my lunch. See, that is how you write numbers. Please make a note of that. 0 to 9 should be alpha. 10 and over should be numeric. Okay? Now, here's another thing to take note. If you are going to be writing things that are a unit measure, let's say uh, 4 centimeters, you can write it as 4 centimeters or 6 degrees, but generally speaking it's best to write it like this because it's a unit of measurement. 4 centimeters, 6 degrees. And you would do that no matter what. Another thing is time. Time would be 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock. If they say 10 p.m., then it's 10 p.m. If it's 11 a.m., there you go. If they say 9 o'clock, do not do this. Do not write the numerals. If they say 9.30, then you would write it like that. Okay? But if it's an even time, such as 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock, you would write 8 o'clock, 7.45. Okay? So those are the things you need to keep in mind. One last thing that really relates to the transcriptions that we do, and that is ratings. It's very important to put ratings in this particular format. I'm going to write a sentence that is typical in a transcription of market research, and you will see what I mean. This is a respondent talking. So I'm going to give this a R for respondent, and then I'm going to write, I really like that concept 
the one that is about styling your hair with gel. I would give that idea a rating of 5 out of 5. Okay, now let's have a look at this. Notice we have the reference to numbers three times. We have 1, and then we have the ratings 5 out of 5. Let's say the rating is instead of 4 out of 5. There you go. We'll change that just for the sake of variety. Now, this here, this one, refers to a subject. They're talking about a concept. So that one is good. The other one is bad. That is where you write out one. When you're giving a rating, you want to put it in single quotes because that allows the reader to have an idea that you are designating a number or a rating to something. Where you would also see this kind of usage for numbers is when you're talking about, let's say, dialing a telephone number or a telephone sequence, for example. So when you call the operator, you need to press zero. All right? That's important because you have a very clear idea of what they're talking about. It indicates a digit that you're pushing. And above, this indicates a rating. This is very different than if you're going to write something like, I really like that one because it's uh, actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to write it like this. I don't agree with that one because I think the service was very good. Now, notice here, you don't know what this one is. If I change this to one, what that comment says here is, I don't agree with that rating of one because the service was very good. And of course, one typically on a rating scale is considered poor. Five is considered very good. So if I change that back to one, then it could be a concept. It could be an idea. It could be a statement. But you don't know. So that's why it's important to differentiate. When you write a de description of a concept or a statement or idea, you would write the, the number one out. But if you're talking about a rating or pressing a digit, please, single quotes around the number. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. This just makes it much easier to understand how numbers work. Now, when you're talking about years, okay, let's, let's write out something. A date. Let's write Thursday. October 14, 2010. This is how you write it. You do not write Thursday, October 14, 2010. No, never like that. That is a no no. That is incorrect. You need to write it like this. Okay? So please make note of how those numbers are written and understand that this makes reading much easier when you do it this way.